when I think of innovation, I just think of where my roots come from and what grounded me. And Coventry was one of those places that um, that did inspire me. Innovation to me is about how businesses plan for the future. They get themselves ready to keep going, keep doing that fight of making profits and keeping people employed. It's all about looking at how they can continue to do that moving forward. I think innovation in the city is happening in different ways. It needs to, that's true across the world. So even the nature of our city of culture is innovative. Culture can be the one thing that brings everybody together. Many people think culture isn't for them, you know, or that it's not accessible. And I believe it is, you know, it's yours as much as it is mine or anybody else's. It's so special to kind of hear what's going on and all these events and, and the thought and the processes that are going and the inclusivity of everybody. I think it is a, a forward-thinking city. Someone said something interesting to me the other day about how emerging from the war, Coventry was the one that at the time came to the forefront in terms of the what it was doing to um, to rebuild. Coventry's been through the blitz, you know, and look at it now, it's been built up, it's in the sky, it's, it's, it's amazing. Well, it's become the hub for many businesses and, and the arts and, um, and industries again, you know, the technology industry, and uh, that's coming back here, and I think it's all wonderful. Immersive technology that we have in our labs at WMG is being used across the creative arts as well as in automotive and other industries as well. You have businesses from all over the country moving here to access some of the greatest talent we have in the country and they move here because of its rich history but also of its the possibilities the future could bring. I'm still being inspired by these ideas that I saw when I was a kid. The thing that comes to mind based on the history I suppose is how we're developing the next generation of electric vehicles. You've got my favourite car that's manufactured here, the DB9 by Asti Martin. You've got Jaguar Land Rover. You've got many companies here that create the technology that really is leading the way. The people that came to build those cars, that without um, those people who just came to work hard, um, none of those innovations would have been able to come to fruition. So there's that interesting um, mix between innovation and the um, the power of the people of the city. Collaboration and community can drive to really great things and if you're in a room with 10 people that you'd never met before and you never think you'd meet in your life you're going to gain something really amazing from them. As a Chamber of Commerce our role is to bring businesses together to make sure they're having those conversations that really unlock growth, that really unlock the potential of this fantastic place. Mr Pugh was the first president here of this Chamber of Commerce in 1903 and he owned a company called Rudge Cycles and invented uh, bicycles that were sold worldwide, sold across the whole country. Because we had weaving in the city and watchmaking in the city, those were sort of drivers for um, sewing machines beginning to be made in the city. And because we made sewing machines, those factories easily transferred into making bicycles and there was the expertise in the city to be improving the model of the bicycle. And then those same factories that made bicycles, many of them became um, car manufacturers and then came the jet engine. So there is this wonderful um, story of evolution of innovation and engineering. Businesses have adapted, they've designed things that have led the world. The demands that creative people make of themselves, I think, feed into the sort of challenges that people um, who are looking at technology day in, day out are, are wanting to address. As a city, we could all learn a lot, you know, um, and we could all teach people a lot of things as well, you know, show everybody else our culture. And I think that's, that's the thing that binds us all together. Um, when we share and we learn, we're coming out of like almost a plague that's kind of put us all in, leveled us all out. You've got business like Steger who, during this pandemic, went from making plastic packaging to making visors f to make people safe, to supply to the NHS, to do their bit to make sure this country could bounce back. That's innovation in itself, isn't it? It's businesses just responding and making sure they're ready. You've got an exciting time. You've got a, you've got a great place of, of, of pure innovation in this in this 
this, in this fantastic city. Anything is possible if you really put your mind to it, and especially in the arts and creativity. I think that's one of the things that arts and culture does. It encourages ongoing curiosity, creative thinking, which of course are absolutely essential traits for um, developing um, innovations across the board, really, across all sectors. Walk around the city and you see people are, are proud to be from here. We grow and we learn and we gain, and new things come out of it. And the fact that the UK city of culture is going to be Coventry, for me, is, is a really special thing.